Carro. Hello everybody, it's Guiding Halo. I hope you're all doing well. I'm just uh, going to do your weekend hope for the energies of the lunar eclipse that we're experiencing. I don't know about you all, but I've had a surprising beautiful day. So that's always nice. Uh, Alright, let's see what's coming to us. Daily hope. Weekend hope, I guess I should say. So we have the squirrel, always prepared. You are the expert of hard work and hard play. Your cheerful and fun disposition is a blessing to everyone. Don't let life's distractions take you off course. Make a plan for the future and life will give you all you need. So what is somebody aiming to have plans for in the future? Perhaps you've been putting off making plans because of everything that's going on. The divine is saying now's a good time to make plans. To move up on forward we have moose which is about wisdom let your head and mind reach to the stars yet keep your feet grounded on the earth listen to the ancient wisdom in your soul the ancestors speak through you you know much so wanting to start something new based on what you know and your wisdom the things you've learned in this life the things you're bringing kind of like bringing two sides or three four four different things that you know all together and trying to combine them into one to create a massive step forward in your life and they're saying it's absolutely perfect time for that yes they are all right We have a pilgrimage. You are on a journey to your own greatness. Look at that. Your soul is longing to find the way. Only you can choose your path. Perhaps it's not about choosing any one thing. Perhaps it's about choosing a multitude of things, like I said, and combining them forward. And if you're having a hard time choosing that one thing, then perhaps look at how you can broaden your perspective. Look at everything it is that you know and how could you combine them moving forward. I also give personal coaching sessions on how just to do that the thing is in those sessions you need to be very open to what you're hearing and to not say no to everything that comes forward to you it's about taking time out to meditate on what you're told and meditate on what comes through channel to you from spirit about what's the best way to move forward Take time for the dreamer in you. Find your power and stillness in your sacred space is the peace you seek. So this is about having a sacred space to be calm, to be still, to have those energies and, and to have channel or yeah, to have channeling abilities for spirit to bring that forward for you. Perhaps someone's coming into channeling abilities or being able to channel what spirit is saying, perhaps. And it's a journey that you're on towards your own greatness. So this is a journey of learning and coming to to a wise place. It's like this antennae, uh, the moose's horns or whatever they're called, antlers, reach up to the divine. It's like a sacred way for the divine to spend me send messages. So your personal antennae, your hair... Your soul, the ar hairs on your arms when you get goosebumps, when you have the hairs on your body stand up, or you have a brilliant idea that brings you the utmost joy, that's when you should take those moments and write that down, or even move forward with those things. Look at that victory. Your desire is coming to fruition. Keep up the good work. So spirit sees where you're at. Spirit sees what it is you're going through and what it is you're trying to build. And they're here to let you know that you are doing very well and to keep up that good work, to keep up the momentum forward, keep up listening to them, keep up understanding that everything is a journey. It's all about, you know, you are an expert of hard work and hard play. 
your cheerful and fun disposition. All of those things combine together with the wisdom that you have that Spirit's bringing you while you're on this pilgrimage and making your plans. This is almost like Spirit on this side and you on this side. And what's happening here is an absolute victory when you can join with Spirit and bring it all together. It's like bringing it all home, baby. It's beautiful. All right. I'm going to put these back. Spirit, what cards should I use next? Okay, I just heard cards I don't use often. Well, that's interesting. I use most of my cards often. Let's use these ones here. No, the purple ones? Okay. So these here are from this deck, which is Earth Warrior Oracle, okay, by Alana Fairchild. And I don't use them often, so let's use them. I think they're actually the only ones I don't use very often, to be honest with you. All right, Let's see what message further we can get from Spirit about what the energy is going on, who's around us, what's happening. What more messages can we get from Spirit? These cards are not easy to shuffle, so I'm going to just pick one like this. Alokoa, spirit of the warrior. Look at that. Look at the butterfly above his head. Absolute transformation. Spirit of the warrior. Someone's been through some massive battles. Massive times of transformation. And even still you are transforming. We have eagles or hawks or big birds here on either side. It's like whispering in his ears. Look at that. And the heart chakra is right at his throat almost. It's like having your a lump in your throat. It's like your heart rose from your chest and it's in your throat. Almost like you could speak your heart now if you chose to. Being guided by the moon phases. We have the moon here and the moon here. And also the moon here and the sun with the eclipses that occur through there and the moon phases. So there's something really about the moon phases here. Something about absolute timing divine timing and we have a serpent it's kind of like the um the lover's card and the what's the other one in the tarot that has the serpents that intertwine around anyway we have another one here and they're coming together at the top almost as if to look straight at each other we could have a shadow side and a light side coming upwards and looking straight at each other here and actually Algamating for the first time in energetic things that can move forward but I'm getting that you really need to flow with what the divine has on the go and wait for that divine inspiration to come to you but you definitely need to have your sacred space in order to create this transformation forward you are cloaked in like you are you are cloaked in messages but it's about being open and having divine timing to bring those messages forward to you perhaps this full moon cycle between this full moon eclipse and the new moon eclipse that is happening there is going to be a lot of messages and interesting things come come forward in that time space that are really going to help you uh with the planning and the pilgrimage because it's going to be messages of wisdom come straight for you to you from the divine which is going to bring about an ultimate victory let's read this card number 34 spirit warrior such a beautiful card though you yearn for peace you recognize that without truth genuine peace can never be even if it triggers an upheaval or transformation the need to set things right is strong in you this is the inner drive of the spiritual warrior the compelling soul need to uphold truth goodness and justice you will fight for these things because that is your way spirit warrior trust see and feel the positive impact that you are making in the world you are relentless and the divine is within you 
Do not give up. If you feel hopelessness, despair, defeat, or frustration, and you wonder if it is really worth it, place your mind in your heart and your heart in awareness of what it is that is inspiring you. Do you feel alone on your quest? Look for the, look at that. We have the pilgrimage card, which is about being on a quest, being prepared with all your hard work. It's just totally speaking to all these other cards we have here, and victory is assured. Look for the legions of beings in spirit and upon the earth that fight alongside you, fearless and ferocious with love. Be uplifted by your fellow spirit warriors, beloved one. Feel the joy of their love and unity with you. You have access to the divine power that conquers any obstacles, wins every battle, and secures every victory. From the fierce Hawaiian koa tradition of warriors come the world alakoa, alakoa which means to cultivate the spirit of the warrior. Inherent in this code is service to a cause greater than the individual ego. For the earth warrior, that means a community cause or country. For the spirit warrior, service is to higher consciousness itself. For the spirit warrior, love is the inspiration, the purpose for the battle, and the only way to win the war. Joy is a sign that the spirit warrior is tuned into source. For that is the frequency which lets us know when we are in divine presence. So it's about creating joy in all of your movements forward, which has really been what most of these readings have been about as of late anyway. How we're going to create forward, how we're going to move forward. It's not about giving your power away as yesterday's reading was so, so powerful to me and for a few so I really appreciate you mentioning how powerful it was. And please do continue to, to message, put messages down below, even if I do not respond. Uh, I will always read them. And if you have a love on your, if I love your post, it's because it's been read, okay? Just so you all know. So tell me a little more with the tarot. Okay, I'm not supposed to use this deck this time. I just got told, use the cards you don't use often. All right, so I'm going to use this tarot deck, which is, I believe, by, well, I can't remember if it's by Doreen Virtue or who it's by, to be honest, but it's one I usually used for my money readings back in the day. So, Squirrel, always prepared. You are the expert of hard work and hard play. Your cheerful and fun disposition is a blessing to everyone. So we have ego. So there's something to deal with ego. There's a false sense of entrapment here as to why there's there's something about not moving forward. Being overly focused on material things, negative or fear-based thoughts is what, what's leading you here. But this is a journey and a pilgrimage to help overcome this ego-based energy. And there is hope. These are happy times. You should be making positive, optimistic, long-term plans because divine is here to say you are absolutely on the right path. We have a 15, which equals down or reduces to a six and this reduces to an eight so six is balance and all about how you're headed forward and the money that you make what it is you want to manifest here on this planet by your hard work by the things that you are putting your hand towards so that's beautiful because it's absolute confirmation for somebody that this false sense of entrapment of fear and ego and the negative and the fear-based thoughts of everything you have to understand that you are you are held in the hand of spirit. These are absolutely happy times and you should be excited about the journey forward, not fearful. Now that's one thing for me to sit here and say because man, I have my own issues with fear. You know, I have my own things that I struggle with moving forward in all of these these situations. So, the moose wisdom, let's find out what cards come with that one, shall we? What comes with the moose wisdom? Whoa, 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 okay. So we have the Three of Pentacles, man, that's been coming out a lot. The power of creativity, recognition for very high quality work and being a team player, see, working. And that we have the team player card here with the truth, brilliant new ideas and inspirations, seeing the truth of a situation and a challenging beginning. And this all has something to do with making something right between you and another Perhaps it's about not having the correct energy to move forward with something until 
there is something learned and a balance brought to the ego so that hope and a wish granted can come it's like we want to have hope and faith and trust we want to move forward we want to understand these are happy times but when we're stifled in ego energy this is the shadow and the light side i was talking about in this card when we're stifled in this energy, how do we move forward at all feeling like it's a victory? How do we even prepare? Yes, we're on a pilgrimage, but how do we even take the first step forward on that pilgrimage unless we can come out of this ego-centered thing and understand that what we're doing is absolutely for the love of man, the love of humanity, all of those sorts of things. So it's a challenging beginning, beginning because there's a truth that needs to be spoken and seeing the truth of a situation and brilliant new ideas and inspirations are coming to you, but perhaps it's not the way you thought it would look. And so therefore it's making it more difficult to move forward. Um, okay, I'm going to switch to the other deck now. Let's get a card for this pilgrimage here. What's this pilgrimage about? You are... You are on a journey, your own greatness, to your own greatness. Your soul is longing to find the way. Only you can choose your path forward. You can choose your path between ego or you can choose your path in walking in faith. And remember, you feel your way into faith one step at a time. It's not about having faith in every moment of the day. It's not about, I'm walking on sunshine 24-7, la, 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 la. It's about in some sort of moments, maybe it's only 10 moments in the day, but you feel hope and faith in those 10 moments throughout the day. And therefore, when you relish in those moments that you have, in, whoops, hope and faith. Wow, these cards just want to jump all over the place. So look at that communication coming to you. Now, the Knight of Swords is someone who's in a hurry. They're in a hurry to say something, and it's coming in fast. There's communication coming in fast. When this communication comes to you, there's going to be fast forward movement. But someone may very well say, or this could be someone, you guys, one of you coming to say, hey, listen, I understand what you're saying here, but I still have not heard the how, the how to get on the horse and actually move forward. In fact, some of these message may actually make someone angry, may want, maybe make them want to grab their sword and rush forward and chop someone's head off to a certain extent. But this is part of the journey. It's part of the overcoming the ego self. And it's going to take absolute strength. And my friends, we are going to have to transform. Yet again, we are going to have to die to this idea that, that money is the be-all and the end-all. Because when you start step forward into love and you step forward into remembering why it is you do what you do. Why is it you do what you do? Well, when you remember that in and of yourself, that's when you create the transformation. Okay, that's when the transformation happens. You're doing this, why? Because you want to bring love to people, because you want to bring stability to people. Perhaps you did it, perhaps it created some money for you, and then you lost sight of the value of what you're doing and what it actually is creating, and perhaps you got stuck in the ego energy again. But I'm here to tell you as I pull off the deck that split in half, the wheel of fortune is spinning in your favor. Do you have faith for that right now? Possibly not. Possibly not. And I'm telling you, like I say, I have issues with that too. It's like, yep, I feel my way into faith absolutely one step at a time. That's the only way to go. But remember, you down here, you are human. You are human. And we feel guarded because, well, we can sit there and say we can do this or that for, you know, whatever. But we're doing it out of love and not for money. But, you know, we still have bills to pay. We still need money in our bank account in order to move forward. Well, I bet you, well, this whole thing happened with the world and this shift is going on that y'all were sitting there going, well, great, now what do I do for work? And then all of a sudden everyone is provided. Well, certain people don't get the funds or don't, you know, what's the word? Um, <sighs> qualify for the funds that are coming in, right? And I understand that myself. So being that you may not qualify for that, perhaps this whole message leaves you a little bit angry and leaves you a little bit frustrated. But the fact that you are still alive and that you have food in your belly and that you are still eating shows you that there is a soul connect here. There's a decision that someone needs to make between shadow side, light side, between what it is you're going to move forward with, how it is you're going to transform it all. All these messages coming at you, I think, make you want to throw your hands up in the air and use 
bad words that I can't say on YouTube because then, you know, people might be offended. But they might, you might want to use those bad words. But they're saying to get into your sacred space here. There is absolutely help coming with the Three of Pentacles and recognition for very high quality work and victory. Your desire is coming through to fruition to keep up the good work. Remember, it's not about being in the energy of perfection emotionally or perfection vibrational each and every single moment of the day. It's about acknowledging the times when you are feeling pretty good, you know, for the most part. It's acknowledging that you are doing the work. Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, within you you coming together shadow light side coming together how you're going to move forward well that's up for you and the divine to decide but seems to me there's going to be brilliant new ideas and inspirations coming your way as you do see the truth of a situation and you do see the truth as you have moved past something possibly it's entirely possible that there needs to be some air cleared some things need to be said with this card here things that are unfinished that need to be finished some rifts that need to be healed. All of those sorts of things in order for someone to move forward yet again. Because it heals a certain part of you. Perhaps it heals the ego part of you. Perhaps it heals that ego part which brings about wishes granted. The freedom and the surrender to all of the struggle which is absolute transformation. Transformation in the struggle. Maybe just to speak your truth or to live your truth. That's possibly the pilgrim pilgrimage someone is on the brilliant ideas and inspirations seeing the truth of a situation a challenging beginning so you saw the truth of a situation or you're going to perhaps you're going to have to call some people on their their mm, interesting behavior or their ways of doing things perhaps you're going to have to call yourself on that behavior and your own way of doing things but nonetheless we have the divine stepping in here to help you move away from rough waters to calm waters someone very well may choose to leave it all and to move away from rough waters to calm waters but the divine is truly saying here with this card they want you to heal the rifts in your life and in your heart so it's not about having people in your life that are toxic i'm not talking about that in fact possibly healing your heart and healing your voice and speaking remember i said how the heart almost looks like it's in his throat having your heart come out of your mouth your emotions in in words that at times very well may be cutting to others and people may may feel you know hmm, maybe there's some truths that have been spoke spoken that have come strictly out of ego But you you knew at the time and you know now that your choice was correct. And I think you've been in hermit mode for it. Uh, either her hermit mode about it or really thinking about it for the past four months. You could be dealing with a Libra. But there is divine justice coming in here. I have Libra, Sagittarius, Gemini, Scorpio, Leo. So far here. Okay. Those are the major signs and energy. And Capricorn, Aquarius... Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So justice is going to come here. Balance is going to come. And it will come to you in Gemini season. This is a card number six. This is a seven and that's a number ten. So I would say between now, which is the fifth today, between now and the tenth, thirteenth, between now and the new moon for certain and that, my friends, is when there will be someone, possibly you, possibly even the divine in some sort of way, hopping on their trusty winds of the ethers to come towards you and offer you something that's going to make you truly feel blessed and happy. Something that is absolutely about a victory for you. Not something that the divine thinks is a victory. But because this card out is com something coming that you think is a victory. Okay? It's very important you understand that. It's something that you think is a victory. Absolutely. And it's divine justice coming in here to set things right. So trust the decisions you've made. Trust your inner knowing. Trust, 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 trust. And what happens out of this when the ego finds its balance and justice comes in to clear up this situation to bring a victory? We have someone in the offering, communication coming in here and here on both sides with these two cards. There's communication coming in. OK, 
okay? So here, communication could be coming in about finances and money, and someone might be not too pleased about communication coming in. This could be something to do with the Virgo Taurus Capricorn. This is Virgo and energy here. This is also uh, Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy here. But these are both cards about communication. Now look at on either end of the spectrum, we go from the financial to the emotional. And yet again, I'm going to reiterate. I'm going to reiterate what I said about this card. The serpent here coming up and the serpent here. Shadow side, light side meeting together. And when you do, you absolutely face beautiful transformation, which brings about divine justice, which brings communication, which may have been blocked in your heart, but it's in your throat. Your emotions are in your throat now, able to speak forward. Okay, so what you have sent and been spending time doing financially is going to bring rewards and balance will be brought here and it will be an absolute victory. Look at that. Now tell me, who doesn't want that in their life? Absolute victory coming your way. And it's all about healing. The divine masculine, divine feminine within. The ego side, the shadow side within. Who's going to have control today? What are we going to move forward today? Well, how about... We understand that all things and everybody is in the same journey we're in, even the divine masculine within us and the divine feminine within each of us. Okay, let's pull a goddess card and see what's up. Deeper energy, what's up? What's actually the deeper, deeper, deeper energy going on here? Well, I have three. You have a divine guardian. This is a time of significant spiritual growth and healing for you. You are protected during these times by the love and strength of divine mother Isis. Relax and allow transformation. Look at that. Allow transformation to happen. Your divine guardian protects you now. Let go. Trust unconditionally in what is happening for you. And there is only divine love beneath the surface of the present situation. Beautiful. Spirit of Isis. Beloved initiate, there are times to surrender and let go, but there are never times to give up. Persist with your bold faith. Remember that bold faith, the one step at a time, feeling my way into faith. And inspired action until the impossible happens. Isis has the spirit of triumph and will never fail in her quest, no matter how bold or impossible it seems. Let her inspire you. Believe. That is so beautiful. Ancient power mysteries. The oracle guides you to honor the power of your voice. Look at that. Bringing your emotions to the fore through your voice. Look at that. Wow. Whether through spoken or sung word or through what you write, speak about, or stand for symbolically, you have a potentially very powerful healing voice and you are guided to recognize the responsibility that you have for what you proclaim through your voice. So what you proclaim and what you know to be true for you is incredibly powerful. There's something here. Someone's coming into, okay, I just got a download that somebody who used to use their voice for singing or some sort of art form is going to be doing that again. And it's to bring the energies that it's to bring your heart out, out through your voice. Whether it's through singing, it could be written words, spoken word, all of those sort of things. It, anything that you stand for symbolically. You have the potentially very powerful healing voice and you are guided to recognize the responsibility. You have a responsibility that comes with that voice that you have for what you proclaim through it. So you have a responsibility to bring the knowledge, the wisdom, the everything that you have through your voice out into this world. Look at that. Look at that. See? Divine masculine, divine feminine combining together. Feeling feeling at odds with that whole thing. But the wheel of fortune spinning in your favor to what? Bring the emotion forward and be able to bring it forward out into the world as you are absolute responsible to do. It's part of someone's absolute divine mission here. I love you guys. I hope this message resonates. I'll be talking to you again soon. Have a fantastic weekend. I'm sorry it was a little late today, but I got busy going buying trees. <laughs> I'll talk to you again soon. Blessings.